We've all been told not to visit shady or sketchy websites because they could be malicious or contain bad stuff that could compromise and infect your computer. But did you know your computer can be compromised by criminals and other hackers even if you're visiting sites you know well and visit frequently? Happens every day through an attack called a watering hole attack. I'm Keetron Evans and I'm going to show you exactly how this attack works. We tend to trust sites which we regularly visit like banks, news outlets, and social media. We have confidence that they are safe and up to date with the latest security measures. However, when these sites have underrated vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting, these sites can become temporary locations for malicious hackers to plant bad code. Their hope is that you, or anyone really, will visit the site and execute that code. Think about how many sites you visit where you're able to post comments, for example, commenting on someone's Facebook wall, an Instagram pic, or a thoughtful post on LinkedIn. When comments or other interactive posts are allowed on a site, that site is not properly sanitizing or cleaning up posts in real time. This leaves room for watering hole attacks to happen. Let's break this down from the beginning. First, the attacker discovers that a popular site with frequent visitors contains a XSS vulnerability. Then they leave a comment that includes some malicious code. Next, an unsuspecting victim visits that same site and views the post or comment left by that attacker. As a result of just viewing the comment, they unknowingly executed the attacker's code. This code ultimately hands over control of the victim's computer to the attacker without them even realizing anything's happened. There won't be any warnings on the victim's computer as the attacker may be using a zero day exploit, which is one that's completely unknown to virtually everyone except the attacker. At this point, the attacker can do things such as take a screenshot from the victim's computer or install a keylogger to obtain sensitive usernames and passwords. Now understand that websites and web services are designed specifically to work this way and even more so with the way we operate now. Whether you know it or not, every time any of us post anything on a social media site or a website in general, there is this type of coding that's happening. It's just that the website's automatically creating the code for you as you post. In a watering hole attack, the attacker has simply modified the site's automatic code with a little bit of his own goodies that gives him control. Once the code executes, the attacker has control of your computer and all he did was simply wait for you to visit a site he's been able to compromise ahead of time. These attacks are becoming prevalent because as more people work from home, their endpoints are not as protected as when they're browsing websites and interacting with web applications from work located behind their work firewall with the protection of the Security Operations Center. So always be careful. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash learn to see a full demo of how this attack actually works, plus other videos where I walk you through different data breaches and popular hacks.